So I'm going to show you how to make a fire effect that looks like this. So let's start by installing the Unity URP and the Visual Effects package. Go to the Windows tab, choose Package Manager, make sure you're on Unity Register section, find the Universal RP package and click Install. Once installed, Universal RP gonna appears on your package list with a green check mark. You should do the same with the Visual Effects package. Right click in the project folder, go to Create, Shader Graph, URP, Unleash Shader Graph and name it Fire Particles. Open your new shader and go to the Graph Inspector. Make sure Support VFX Graph is enabled. We can also uncheck Cast Shadows. Now let's create a variable for our particle color. We can make it red and don't forget to change the mode to AGR. This way we can have the bloom effect within our particles. Save your shader. So now let's create a visual effect. Go to create, visual effects, visual effect graph. Choose empty VFX, hit create and name it fire particles. Let's create a new object for our visual effect. Right click on the hierarchy tab, go to visual effects and visual effect. Select your new object and assign the fire particles to your asset template. Let's start creating our nodes for our visual effect. Let's start by defining how many particles do you want, so we can set the spawn rate. I'm gonna also increase our bounds so we have more space for our visual effect. And let's add the update particles section. And finally the output section so we can see our particles and the visual effect. I'm also going to increase the capacities to 80. And let's add, set the velocity from direction so we can make it go up. I also want to add some small horizontal variations using the X and Z axis. set a random lifetime for them. Add the set position node so we can actually define the area for our particles to spawn. And let's create an arc sphere variable and link to our set position node. This way we can control the spawn area via the inspector. I'm going to make the spawn area a little bit small. So now in the update section, let's add the linear drag node. This will add some physics drag to our particles and make it look better. And we need to change the size of their lifetime, so it starts big and ends small. Now in the output section, we need a way to control our materials color, so let's add the get attribute color to it. For changing the color of our particles, we can use the set color over lifetime node and change our gradient. We also need a way to make our particles always look to our camera, so add the orange face camera plane node. If you want to rotate your particles, you can add the Add Angle Over Lifetime node and change the channels to the Z axis only. And don't forget to change your curve. Now let's work on the shadows. I'm gonna create a small scene for our particles and disable the main light. Add a point light to your fire effect. Let's create a script called Firelight. In this script, we are basically changing the intensity and the Y position of our light using the Perlin noise. You can find this script in the text version of this tutorial at Medium. So now you can add the script component to your light object. 
Let's enter the play mode and let's play with our values to find the best one. So this is the final result, hope you like it. If you like this video I can only ask you to check my unit assets on asset store, I'm sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching and till the next tutorial.